of yoga is to unite and the root is yuj or to yoke to put together in a broader sense maintaining the equanimity is yoga and i said to him as it's one america needs you and he said well if america needs me maybe i'll come america is helping everybody in the material field but the time has come for america to help the whole world with spirituality also tikam tikam te yoga gives you the foundation then you can build anything you want over it so it's not an escapism at all on the other hand it is a preparation to face the world and to make the world a happy place to live there's evidence that there were meditating yogis back easily 5000 6000 years ago and now in america despite it getting kind of lost in the asana craze yogis are beginning to really look for that place that swami sachidananda symbolized the concept of integral yoga was to bring the teachings of yoga into all aspects of our lives by showing us how yoga could be a part of the way um, we would think intellectually be a part of the way that we would act in the world now looking back it's interesting how things have changed um, the number of yoga practitioners the number of yoga teachers not just in america but in the world has grown exponentially uh, in in that intervening time he took the most profound the most sublime teachings and he made them very simple and clear not only did he make them accessible somehow he had the gift to give us the confidence that we could practice them and derive the benefits initially i believed that if i had knowledge then i would have the power to help and make all the differences that needed to be made and what you realize is knowledge is power that's for sure but it's not all the power you'll need to help and in fact the solutions to, to the wellness of individuals lies within them So if I take you off to the operating room with the expectation on your part that I'll cure you forever of your heart disease and all I'm really doing is palliating your problem. Then a couple of years down the road when you re have recurrent symptoms because you're continuing to smoke or you're still gaining weight or you're not meditating, we're just not getting in touch with life and and sickness just becomes some obstacle to overcome to get back to the blandness of of wellness. Then we've missed the whole boat. That's what integrative medicine to me is all about. It's integrating the best of traditional and non-traditional approaches and using science to show what works what doesn't for whom and under what circumstances in our studies we use these very high tech expensive state of the art measures to prove the power of these very ancient low tech and low cost interventions like what we learned from uh, swami sachidananda the gita says samatvam yoga uchyate balance is yoga Sri Gurudev has always said the highest compliment that you can ever pay me he said is to enjoy all the happiness and joy that i experience very simple keep your body as clean as possible your mind as clear as possible that's all we need and do it in any way you can in your own way it doesn't matter that's why it's a peaceful body peaceful mind and then you will be useful you don't have to become a useful person you will be useful which is what are you doing this moment to realize who you are to know who you are to know yourself on the inside because that's what you get to take with you on the continuing journey and people would ask him what would your last words be he would always say see you later <laughs>